My next guest is the best in the world at what he does. He's been called a sky god and a flight king, but he hasn't always been a daredevil. At 17 years old, he lost a good friend in a skydiving accident, and it left him with a deep fear of flying. But not anymore. Take a look. I was afraid to fly, but I wanted to be up there. I was very compelled to be up there, so I had to conquer that fear. And how I conquered it is by taking an aerobatic course. And the first time we rolled that airplane upside down, I fell in love with his art form. Today, 40 years later, 57-year-old extreme pilot Sean D. Tucker thrills millions of spectators every year at air shows around the world. Video cameras are on. I'm smiling. Tumbling end over end, upside down, and even flying backwards. This aviation hall of famer and his team of pilots have designed the most aerobatic aircraft on the planet, the Challenger 2 biplane. It just becomes an extension of your body and you're one with the machine. You're in the moment. Whether he's on the ground or up in the clouds, Sean D. Tucker continues to soar above the rest. Please welcome Sean D. Tucker! Sean D. Tucker! <laughs> nice entrance. Hi, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. So I heard you say, first of all, I love what you were saying on the tape about being one with the airplane. I can't imagine what that feels like and probably will never know what that feels like. Well, well, Oprah, it is a very intoxicating feeling to be so alive and so in touch with your flying machine. Yeah. Because it becomes an extension of you. And for me to be able to share that magic in front of six million people a year. Yeah. It's joyful for me. Joyful. But also... It's joy rising. It is joy, joy rising. rising. Yeah. But you know what? You know, the Hall of Fame and all those awards are cool, but when you inspire somebody, you're creating art. And uh, to me, it's uh, an incredible art form. Yeah. Well, like Sean once was, 29-year-old Carly is terrified of flying. So just the thought of getting on a plane, she said, makes her break out into a cold sweat. A lot of people like that. She wanted to overcome that fear. So yesterday, she met Sean at his airfield in California to face her fears head on. Take a look at what happened. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've never relaxed during a flight. Hello. Hi, I'm Sean D. Tucker. <laughs> nice to, nice meet you. to meet you. I get cold sweats and heart palpitations. I just, I hate it. Right here is your parachute. I get so nervous that I could get a panic attack at any moment. I kind of want to get over all those little things so I can just fly at ease. You ready to go, girl? Let's go fly, baby. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, holy crap. <laughs> I'm hoping to show you it's all about you acknowledging your fear. It's all about you accepting it and okay. saying, let's go work on it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh. Are you with me? No, hold on. Okay. Oh. How do you feel? Oh my god, Ex exhilarated. Okay. Talk about getting over your fears. Yeah. That was the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't know what Carly just did that yesterday. Oh my god. Joining us on Skype from San Francisco. Okay, so that is like taking your fear head on. I heard that you felt that that transformed you, that experience. I think it just really helped me with my fears. I, I, I learned to kind of confront the fear and make it a positive emotion. Um, and that way you can kind of get over anything. And I feel really like I can conquer other fears now. That's fantastic. Thank you, Carly. And Thank Sean you, D. Thank Tucker! You, Sean. Yes. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Oprah. Thanks for your passion. Thanks for your passion. We'll be right back. We can feel it. Yeah.